Hello friends. Welcome. Today we will recap 2022 action, drama film, The System. Spoilers alert. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. The movie starts in a house, where some crooks are packaging drugs. Suddenly, someone knocks on the door, and as soon as the door is opened, a masked man enters, and the fight starts between the intruder and the crooks inside the house. The masked man enters in the room where the money is kept, and he takes it, but as soon as he is arrested by the cops. In the next scene, he is booked at the police station and his identity is revealed. He is Terry Savage, a retired, decorated special ops, Don. Commissioner gives him an option to go undercover in a... Terry first denies, but then Harvey reminds him that he will be gone for at least 10 years for this armed robbery. If he accepts the offer, he will go free. He also emotionally blackmails Terry, reminding him of basketball together. Harvey also tells Terry that once he goes to the cell, there will be something waiting for him and that's the only way he can communicate with Harvey. Terry is then taken into Degnan Correctional Institute with other prisoners. Lieutenant Killian introduces himself as his owner, and tells him that nothing is allowed without his permission. He is then processed and a chip is inserted in his neck. He is taken towards his prison cell where the prisoners welcome him as new meat. In his cell, he finds a cell phone inside a book. During breakfast, one of the prisoner calls him monkey boy and asks him to bow, and it is clear that there is some kind of segregation in the prison. During the exercise, a group of prisoners lead by freeway come to him, and they ask him if he is an ally or an enemy, because in order to stay alive in the prison, he will need an ally to which Terry replies that he flies solo. Once he walks away, one of the prisoners says, maybe he will die solo. He is assigned a janitor's duty in the prison. Suddenly a group of prisoners attack Freeway. But he takes care of them alone. In the next scene, Terry is reading the Bible when a group of prisoners attack him. Terry fights with them, and another prisoner named Bones come to his rescue. Terry is sent to solitary confinement because of the fight. After his confinement, Terry is taken to Warden Lucas, who is punishing the other prisoner. Warden tells him that this prison is owned by corporate and it's very boring here, so he has created a dungeon. In order for him to see his daughter early, he will have to follow some rules. Then he asks another female guard named Gina, to give him his reward that's a bag of fighting gear. While walking towards his cell, Gina tells him that she served in Kabul, and Terry and his team saved her life few years ago to which Terry replies that he was doing his job. She then tells Terry not to expect any favor as she is also doing her job. Terry goes to his cell to find Bones as his new cellmate. Bones tells him that if he wants to see his little girl, he has to follow two rules, number one, forget about the outside world, and second, he will have to survive the dungeon. Bones take Terry in an area that is designed to practice and prepare for fight. He also tells Terry all about Freeway. Bones tells him that the dungeon is every Friday and Terry has to prepare for it. Next day, Terry prepares for the dungeon. Gina takes Terry and Bones to dungeon and wishes him good luck. It is clear here that dungeon is a very popular underground fight in this prison and all the prisoners are enjoying it. While Terry waits for his turn, he secretly records the fight. Freeway fights with two prisoners and beat them up. Next, it's Terry's turn. And his opponent is local favorite from Mexican mob El Vampiro. They call him Vampire because he sharpens his teeth like a vampire. Terry fights with El Vampiro, but he struggles and loses the first round when Vampire bites him in his hand. And after the first round, Bones tells him not to lose the second round. In the second round, Terry takes control from the beginning and knocks El Vampiro down within seconds. After the fight, Freeway goes to Warden and asks him why Bones is helping the new guy to which the Warden replies that Bones wanted to do this, because Terry reminds him about his family. Freeway reminds the Warden that he wants his freedom and the Warden tells him that he is working on it. Freeway walks to Terry and reminds him that he's the the best and Terry should not mess with him. Bones tells Terry that Freeway and he are like the same. They both are ex-military, and fighters. He also reminds Terry that next Friday he will fight again Z. He is the Dragon Nation's best fighter. Movie then moves to next dungeon. An Asian prisoner Z shows his skills, and fight starts. 
Carrie's first punch knocks him down and show is over. Prisoners starts to boo as they didn't see a good fight. The movie, then shift to a scene where Terry is working as a janitor, and suddenly some of the prisoners attack and during fight, one of the prisoner, tries to stab him and guard Gina shows up and the prisoner stabs her. Guard Gina passes out saying, I was just doing my job. Terry calls for help. Later Terry visits Warden Lucas who tells him that guard will survive because of his quick thinking. Warden and his guard take Freeway and his two men to a room where the guard kills Freeway's associates. Warden asks Freeway why he ordered the attack on Terry? Freeway replies that he did not give the order. Then Warden asks him to fight against Terry. First Freeway denies saying that Terry is not up to his level, but when Warden Lucas threatens him, he agrees to fight. In the next scene, Bones is teaching Teddy how to fight and Freeway shows up. He tells Terry that he heard Terry wants to see him in the dungeon and tells him that let's give them what they want. Terry continues his fight practice where he sends message to Harvey telling him that he got what he wanted and asks him to take him out from the prison, but he gets no reply. Warden takes him for a walk and shows him how powerful he is. Warden asks him to run the place that Terry denies. Warden then tells him that he is missing the real part. He then takes Terry to a room where prisoners are working with illegal substances. Warden wants him to run this business and enjoy all the perks. The warden also shows him the dead bodies of the prisoners, and tells him that he is loyal to those who are loyal to him. Next, Terry is taken to warden's room where the commissioner is waiting for him. It is then revealed that commissioner and warden split the profit 50 to 50. Terry now knows that he is being framed and trapped. When he denies further fight, they bring and torture Bones. Terry agrees to fight in order to save Bones. Bones asks Terry what he is going to do? To which he replied I am going to burn these guys down. Attorney Jeanette visits Terry and he gives her the mobile SIM card and asks her to leave. Next, scene moves to dungeon for finale fight and someone is secretly recording. This time, there is a new fighter Chaka against Terry. The fight starts and it is clear that Chaka has the upper hand in the beginning. But, Terry takes control easily. Suddenly, the other prisoner starts fighting with the guards as pre-planned. And DEA raids the prison, fatally wounding guard Killian. Warden Lucas runs away but Terry finds him. Warden fires shots at him but Terry is wearing bulletproof West. Suddenly Bones attacks him from behind and saves Terry. When Lucas is about to kill Bones, DEA agent shoots and arrests him. Attorney Jeanette visits Terry and tells him that she got the video and forwarded it to state authorities. Commissioner is also arrested, and state agrees to give Terry full pardon. State also agreed to take care of treatment cost of Terry's daughter. Terry goes to see Bones for the last time and thanks him. Bones tells him that he gave him new life too, and asks Terry not for forget him. Terry walks out of prison and everyone shouts his name and show their respect. Finally, Terry is out of the prison where Jeanette meets him. Movie then shift to Terry's daughter coming out of hospital and Terry surprises her from behind and gives her flowers and her favorite hair band. Jeanette visits the prison and meets Bones. Warden Lucas is now imprisoned and still believes that he is the warden, and shouts that he will come after everyone. The End